There was another deadly mass shooting in America, this time at an LGBTQ club in Colorado Springs. Five people were killed, 25 wounded. The suspect is in custody, taken down by people inside that club. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Another community in America grieving another mass shooting. Battalion 2 Battalion 4 reports of 10 people shot. Let's make this a mass casualty. Law enforcement now investigating the massacre at this LGBTQ club in Colorado Springs as a hate crime. Five people shot dead, more than two dozen injured, including Mark Slaw's younger sister and brother, his sister in critical condition at the hospital. There's a lot of trauma that she's taken. It's a nightmare come true. Authorities say 911 calls started coming in at 11. 1156 from Club Q on Saturday night. I was bartending, making drinks, and then I heard like a like a pop, pop, pop. Once I looked up and I saw the the shadow of a of a, a grown man wielding a rifle. By midnight, the first officer arriving at the scene, and by 12:02 a.m., five minutes after the first call, the suspect in custody, according to police. Witnesses say two heroic club goers charged the shooter. They absolutely risked their lives. Police say the suspect, 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich, was armed with an assault rifle, another gun, and multiple magazines of ammunition. Club Q has been around for two decades, but the owners say they'd never seen the gunman before. Among the five confirmed dead was Club Q bartender, 28-year-old Daniel Davis Aston. Friendly, loving, everybody loved him, and he loved everybody. The suspect was known to law enforcement. He was arrested in June of 2021 following an alleged bomb threat incident against his mother. Many now wondering how someone charged with felonies and considered a threat was able to get his hands on those guns. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honor so to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations out to the hopefully elect. And today I just want to go into, you know, the news article that I featured in the beginning. You know, about, you know, those, you know, sodomites pretty much being put to death. So I'm just going to bring out a couple of scriptures. Lord willing, this lesson is at a final straight to the point. And you know, pretty much. Go back. There was a... No it says five dead and 18 injured. So you know those five people that were killed. Most of the 18 that were injured, you know, that was their judgment, you know, because they were wicked. You know, living an alternative lifestyle, you know. Because America is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, and I'm going to bring that out. But I'm going to start in the book of Leviticus, chapter 20, and verse 13. And it says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood should be upon them. And yes, you know, again, they, they, they have a club, you know that pretty much, you know, was supporting that, that lifestyle pretty much. You know, there's many more, but this particular club, you know, again, you know, was picked to, you know, for the Lord to pretty much issue out his judgment by way of that, you know, that gummy, you know, because again, you know, that that's, that's a wicked thing, you know. Two men can't create life just like two women can't create life, you know, only a man and a woman coming together through the act of sex to create, you know, you know, life, you know, procreation. is the book of Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8 and it says and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified and yes I just want to focus on you know where it says is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt you know this you know sluggy 
This is why America is spiritually known as Sodom, you know, because of, you know, this particular group right here, you know, that pushes their lifestyle, you know, on the masses, you know, and it's heavily promoted here in this land, and ultimately throughout the world, because it's widely accepted here, you know, America is Babylon the Great, you know, this is why it's spiritually known as Sodom. And also known as spiritually Egypt because of the hard bondage in which, you know, the nation of Israel had to suffer, you know, for our transgressions. Then we're going to go to the book of Romans. This is the book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 24. And it says, Wherefore, Yahweh also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And yes, you know, again, going into, you know, that wicked practice, you know, that alternative lifestyle that is heavily pushed here in America, you know. And then I'm going to continue, and it says, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie, and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Slakia, <sighs> amen. And this is the point, and this is verse 26. For this cause Yahweh gave them up unto vile affection, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. Yes, you know, this was the recompense of their error, you know, they were judged, you know, it's like it said in the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13, you know, their blood should be upon them because of this wicked, you know, practice and lifestyle, you know, that was the Lord executing his judgment, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Green Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Till the next time I say Shalom.